good day this is Bennett also known as Jeremiah today we're going to do with samples populations parameter and statistic if you're interested in more statistic videos the playlist is found at the end of this video it is also found right here on the top right of the screen at the suggested video all right let's begin let's say we are business partners and let's say we have decided to start a business that sells to unisa students so this business has five products a b c d and e and let's say we are interested in knowing which product will be preferred most by unisa students so our target market is unisa unisa at the moment has 450,000 students if we have to approach the whole population of UNISA students, it's going to be prohibitively expensive and time-consuming. So usually, whenever the population is very large, it is impossible to approach the whole population. So, number one, it is very costly. Number two, it is time-consuming or even impossible. So, what we're going to do is that we will pick out a sample. So a sample is a portion that is taken from the population. So we'll pick out a sample, maybe a sample of 50 students. And then we can do statistics on those 50 students. And the answer we'll get, we will use that to represent the population. So let's say among these five products, 25 students preferred product A, 2 students preferred product B, 10 students preferred product C, 3 students preferred product D, and 10 other students preferred product E. So, this thing that we have just done is called a statistic. So, the results that we get based on samples is called a statistic. And the actual results of the population, the one that is impossible to get, is what you call the parameter. Now, if it was possible to reach out to all the 450,000 students at UNISA, let's say 200,000 students preferred product A, and let's say 20,000 students preferred product B, let's say 100,000 students preferred product C and let's say 30,000 students preferred product D and again 100,000 students preferred product E notice this is what you call the parameter so it's called the parameter because it represents the actual whole population of UNISA so if it was possible to reach out to all the 450,000 students at UNISA and obtain the results the results will be called a parameter because it's based on the whole population. But in reality, it is virtually impossible to reach out to all the 450,000 students at UNISA because it is time consuming and it is very expensive. So in reality, we cannot reach out to all the population. Remember, we have a business, we wanna make profit. We don't wanna make a loss by trying to find out from exactly every student which product they prefer. So all we can do is to take a portion of maybe 50 students from UNISA. And we have to ask those 50 students and the results that we get from those 50 students we will use it to represent the population so most of the time when we pick a sample from the population that sample will look similar to the population at times it might be very different there is a possibility that that sample will be very different from the population that is why we use what we call hypothesis testing which will be done later in the module so most of the time when we pick a portion from the population, it looks like the population. It looks similar to the population. So we use the results from the sample to represent the population. So the results that we get from a sample, we call it a statistic. And then we use that to represent the population parameter. So we're trying to predict the population parameter. So this is because the population is usually impossible to reach. So whenever we've got a very large population, for instance 7,000, we need a sample to represent the population. If the population of interest has a small size, for instance, let's say you're interested in finding the mean mark of your high school class, then it is easy to get the actual results of the population. So in this case, we have the actual population parameter. By the way, there is actually a situation where we are forced to use the sample even though the population is not very large. So, in this particular situation, which I'm about to demonstrate, we are forced to use a sample even though the population is not very large. Just before I continue, if you want to be treated whether it is online or physically, whether it is the situation where you are struggling in maths or whether it is the situation where you are good in maths but want perfection, Take a screenshot or save these details. 
So we've got lessons and practice sessions five days a week. We also give you tests once a week so that we can check your improvements. Tutorials are offered in any mathematical or statistical module. It is also offered in native courses which start from N1 to N6. The video that contains the prices and the updated contact details just in case these ones have changed is found at the end of this video. Let's say we've got a business, a factory, and let's say this factory produced 300 products. And let's say we're interested in finding out the percentage of products that are faulty. And let's say in order for us to find out whether a product is faulty or not, we have to destroy it or break it. Now we can't break all 300 products because it will be expensive. We are in a business, we want to make profit. So in this situation, we are forced to select a sample as well. And we have to use a sample of maybe 30 products. And the results that we get from that sample, we will use it to represent the whole population parameter, which in this case is the total number of products that are produced by the factory. So there are two situations that requires us to use a sample. Number one is if the population is very large. Number two is if it involves destruction of products. All right, we have reached the end of this video. I have included a playlist of similar type of questions. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Any questions of God or any video you want me to create, please comment below. See you in the next video.